Okay, see, I'm, re I'm reminded of an Arfen House quote here. Don't worry, blowing up is good for you. Tomatoes. Corn. Laser gun. Oh, God. That has been so long since I've seen that. All right, I found it also. I'm stashing it. I found another bow. Uh, anyway, d uh, did I ask, is there a way to repair items? Um, no. Unless you get, like, a mod. You just have to end up using your tool till it breaks. Okay. Which sounds like it sucks if you get diamond, because I know diamond is, like, the best stuff in the game, isn't it? Yes, but diamond lasts pretty much forever. Okay. I am. Diamond is forever. <laughs> My shinies, they're broken. I don't want my shinies broken. Okay, I've got more mushrooms. I'll make some more soup. Okay, and I think I've managed to organize our tools, actually. Alright. So the, uh, the chest by the foot of the bed is tools. This one over here is building materials. And this one for right now is random shit, it looks like. I think it would, uh, you know what, when it comes morning time, I'm going to see about expanding our house for more chest space. Okay, we should actually make a basement if you want to do that. Yeah, so, that might not be a bad idea, actually. But if you guys want to see the ravine... Oh yeah, it probably, it probably wouldn't hurt, because I think we've got enough stuff by now. See, ravines are huge. Also... You, see, you can usually want to stack up for an adventure. Uh, alright, well, quick, uh, quick thing I'm noticing. Uh, I haven't eaten anything in forever. My food has not gone down. Is that because it usually goes down by action? Like if you run around a lot, you swing your. Oh god! Okay. Congratulations, me! I managed to get out of the way. Ultimo, that was nasty. You know, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's actually a reference to our one of our other let's plays. I did the most audible fart ever on it. On and it, my microphone managed to catch it. Oh. <laughs> No, no, it, it, it caught it. I said that's disappointing. Oh, okay. Oh, you're disappointed because it caught it. Uh, your microphone's supposed to be fart proof. <laughs> Hi. For the most, but, um, Get out of my house. Hunger quicker based upon, like, your action. Like, if you run around a lot, if you jump a lot, swing your sword. Like, if you sit there doing nothing, it'll move slower than it would if you're running around being active and not a fatty. Right. And if you die, you get full. Yes. <laughs> Dying is better! <laughs> that works. Okay, and were you going to show me something, or...? Sorry, I'm... I thought Ulti was coming with this. I, I, I am. Let me, uh, let me grab this, the, um, some food or something here. Uh, yeah, I'll grab a mushroom stew. I just want to make sure I'm ready. Yeah, I mean, okay. Spider incoming. Fuck you, spider. I say, if we get enough string from spiders, we can make a fishing rod. Oh, sweet. We have enough. Nice. Anyway, shall we go... Uh, does everything have everything in the chest that they want put in there? For the most part, yeah. Okay. But it's down this way. Watch your step whenever you come in there. Is it deep? Yes. Ravines are very, very, very deep. Oh, sh You're not kidding. Oh Jesus! Lava and everything. Hey, is that? A lava Don't you dare push me off, or I will kill you. Well, I've There's tried a trick. to too. There's a trick. Hold shift while you're moving, and ah! uh -oh. that trick. <laughs> if you hold shift, you won't fall when you're on an edge. Right. See? Okay. Yeah, I do see actually. I think I see the water source block. I can get down there. Okay, I grab some uh, iron while I'm up here, and I'm. Widening the walkway just a tad bit. Oh, hey, a zombie. Yeah, I think I'm right above the source block to get down there. Incoming! Oh, I think the lava consumed it. Oh, crap, there's just diamonds down here. What? Already found diamonds. Okay, I've got to see this. Where are you? Well, I'm already at the bottom. I know, I'm, I'm looking for your uh, body down. Uh, no, those are zombies. Oh, there you are. There's a source block right here. Okay, so what is that? You can just jump down into the water? Just fall down. As long as you get the source block, you'll hit that ground safe. But you'll have to fight the current for a second. Let me see if I can get some dirt down. 
Oh shit. Yeah. And all my stuff is flowing toward the lava, great. Well, I caught a lot of it. Okay. So I was putting the dirt down. Yeah, I, uh, was pretty sure, well, I did get a chance to aim. That might be good. Hey, look, it's a good idea I made extra equipment. Yeah. Uh, which is now all over the place in the chest. Thank you very much. So let me get some... Oracle! <laughs> You're a bastard! Well, it, 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 it could have been snowy. <laughs> you know, except for the fact that he was kind of uh, watching my corpse fall. <laughs> that like three lives ago, Ultiboo. You're just now finding that out. But the thing is, I made it like one life ago. <laughs> <laughs> Your point. Lava coming for my face. God damn it, you put it in other chests. What? You, you even put stuff in other chests. No, no, all I did was in the weapons chest. Oh, I was going to say, because there's more weapons and shit in this chest. Okay, apparently somebody found another bow at uh, some point. Okay, stone sword. I'm hearing some splash. Oh, you actually made it down there? I made it down here. Well, I'm making stairs back up. Oh, God, no. Gravel. Gravel's bad? Gravel is affected by gravity, so if you're standing under it and gravel falls on you, you can take damage. Ouch. Uh, is a, like, is an immediate crush or what? Well, like, it does damage over time. Oh, okay, but you can get out of it, right? Yes, you can just step backwards out of it. Oh, okay, that's not bad then. Just don't stand there and let it crush you to death. Because otherwise you're gonna be really angry. Crushing weights. Where'd you make the staircase at? Uh, I'm still digging up. I think I'm almost there. You know what? I'm gonna start digging down while you're digging up. Well, I see you. Right. Well, that didn't last long. Keep digging. Not only that, but I can get more stone this way. Yeah. I'll uh, start going outward and seeing where people are. Found you. Oh, hi. So I'm right behind you. And I oh, have no idea hi. where either of you are, so I'm probably going to die soon. Are you down at the bottom? Well, here, I'm yeah. coming back down. Is there things down there with you? Well, there the was, but I killed it. Right here. That's the stairway back up. Okay, that looks like a good idea. Over here? Let's see if I can. See that torch in there? Oh, ultimate just came from it. Yeah. Oh uh, God, you're right. That is a diamond, isn't it? Yeah. There's, I think two. Wow. There's one right now. But you can only get it with iron. Right. Pickaxe. Right now, I'm trying to avoid this lava and the skeleton that's over there in the back, just staring at us. Uh. You know what? I'll take care of the skeleton. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can't get rid of this lava flow. Real quick. Okay. There's a shovel still over there. Skeleton's dead. Yours, it probably was, but your skeleton problem is done. Let me see if I can't just dig a dirt tower up there. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, like, you can stop lava flows by putting blocks in front of them? Yes. Nice. But at the same time, lava is really stubborn. It might linger, so you have to put it on the block. Okay. And you said you have my iron pickaxe, right? Yes, I do. Wait, what's firing now? I mean... Yeah, oh, there it is. Watch out. Push him in the lava. Ha ha. Ha ha. He died. And this lava is really persistent. I'm not sure I should be standing there. Lava, go away. Lava, bam. This lava is very persistent. I'm disappointed. Good lord, so many zombies. Oh, what? Okay. 
But usually these are filled with a brim of resources, so you can just end up pouring the whole thing out. So if we I have enough iron, we can make a bucket and use this water dart. So I know. Oh, hey, um, my blo I, I got a bow from that skeleton is glowing. That means it's got an enchantment on it. It's got power one on it. That means its power is enchanted by a little bit. So it does a bit more damage than normal. Dude, that's awesome. Die, lava. Die. Kill the lava. Ooh, cobblestone! Yeah, whenever water hits a non-source block of lava, it turns into cobblestone. Huh. However, if you see the wa the blocks right here that the water's on... Yeah. ...that's obsidian. That's what happens when water touches a source block. Oh, cool. And just in case... ...the diamond tries to fall... ...into... Lava. Yeah, I'm not gonna have that. Also, I, I, do re I do remember reading a tip some time back that you want to check every block around the diamond or something. Yes, there can usually be more. So I'm going to start mining my way back in here and checking. Well, I've got one diamond, so I'm going to go and take that back real quick so we don't lose precious diamonds. Through stupid hey, accents. Is begging for food. <laughs> Who's begging for food? My cat. <laughs> Eclipse. Yep. Or Clipsy for short. I remember her. She was a she was an awesome cat. The hell is Actually, I'm co I'm coming up as well. Actually, I'm, trying to find the way back out. Uh, I'm put I'm gonna put torches all around the entrance to your way out. I'm trying to find the way from, like out out. Oh crap! I don't have torches. Well, the way uh the way the way. Drop them down to the bottom. Let me get back down there before you do that. Just half a stack. There's enough water, or there's dirt with all the lava's at, so it shouldn't be consumed. Where's the way out? Uh, you dropped them where? I dropped them in the water down there. Oh, I see them floating down there, okay. Uh, what I'm going to start doing is marking our path a bit better, because the last thing I want to do is get lost down here. Yeah, no kidding. And I'm trying to find the way back out. Okay. Still, where is it? Oh, no wonder it got cut off. Also to cut through to the side. Okay, that will mark our ascent point. There we go. Let's see, back up here. Also time for food. Rotten flesh. Rotten flesh. Time to be a cannibal. Indeed. Uh, daylight. How oh, I missed you. I'll take your word for it. Oh, you know what? I see what the problem is here. Huh? I think that path. I think I see the path upward. There's a giant gaping hole at the bottom of it. <laughs> Um, you know what What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on making these stairs a little bit safer. Okay. Uh, I'll come back down with some more pickaxes. That would definitely help. And with three of these irons, I'm going to make a bucket for water. Buckets are the same as bowls, just with iron. Okay. It's always handy to keep a crafting bench on you, no matter where you go. Okay. As long as you carry, like, spare wood and stuff, having a crafting bench will allow you to make anything. Sounds like a sound plan. Yeah, I've got some on me. I've got half a stack of wood and a crafting bench. Woo! Because it's delicious. Uh, 
Okay, that is a new stairway that I've dug. So, what I'm going to do is um, finish it up here. Oh, here, let me give you your pickaxe. Oh, that's a pickaxe. I believe that's also your pickaxe and a sword. That'll work. Anyway, um, I'm going to start lighting. Uh, do you have more torches on you? No, I don't, but I can find some coal real quick. Okay. already down there. Well, got the bucket, so I'm going to start dick around with the water. Okay, what I'm going to do is start marking this off, and I'm going to take the torches from your old... Uh, well, here, take all the torches I've got right now. Oh, okay. I can just make some more real quick when I get that coal. Oh, shit. There you go. That'll work. Yeah, I'm going to uh, close off the, the old path here. Okay. No, skeleton. Now they to shoot me. God, blocking in this game is nothing. It really doesn't, does it? No, that's why I don't tell anybody about it, because it doesn't do anything. How do you block? Hold right click with your sword down. Ah! But either way, it just doesn't do anything like I think it's supposed to. And if it does, I surely haven't seen it. Right. Swim up the water like a salmon. There we go, got the source block. At least I thought I did. That's not. And now to start getting rid of all this lava. Yay! Getting rid of lava. Okay, um... I'm just gonna... Every time you see just a whole crap ton of torches near something, uh, that's gonna be like a, uh, entry point to going back up. Gotcha. Also, it looks like a good idea to work on, uh, widening this path just a bit. Crap, did I forget a shovel? Yes, I did. Now that I've got that done, I need to get some light going up here. Awesome. Well, just so we don't have anything spawning and trying to rip off our faces. But I like my face. Exactly. There's some coal right here to do just the thing. Ah, crap. Make some sticks. That's why that was there. 16 torches. But also, you'll notice the further you go, the harder it is to see. Right. Even with torches. Because right now, where I'm at, I'm at the 12th layer. That's pretty far down. How how deep do layers go? Uh, you can, They can go all the way down to one. But that's usually really lucky, and that's down at the bedrock, which bedrock is unbreakable. Okay. And the way you check that is you tap F3. X is your horizontal coordinates, Y is your depth coordinates, and I don't know what Z is. This is awesome. I did not know that this was here. It used to be abused a lot because you could see where monsters were at. It would have, like, numbers over their name. Oh, wow. And you could just turn that on and find, like, caves and stuff, but they took that out. But it still allows you to see where your coordinates are. Okay. So, so you're off somewhere in the distance, and you're like, hey, where are you? I can't see you. You can just throw them your coordinates, and they can find you. Right. That's a very handy tool for multiplayer. So it seems. Okay, I am going to uh, work on just making your stairway a little bit more... Uh, straight down and everything. They... I think I heard a creeper falling lava. Lol. Oh, and also, speaking of lava, you can use lava as a fuel source for smelting. Oh, that's awesome. How long does it last? It can do 1,000 blocks, I think. What? 1,000 seconds worth of smelting. But it consumes the bucket you have to use. Oh, hey, I found lava. That's... Yeah, that seems like something I should probably steer away from. Well, if you have, like, any dirt or something, just put it on the block and it should kill it. Uh, let's see here. There's a lot of gold down here. Is that a good thing? Well, you can use it for armor as well. It just doesn't last that long. It's, for the most part, it's flashy. Okay. 
but it can also be used for tools. But the best use it has, I believe, is for potion making. Oh, really? You could use gold with watermelon to make glistering melon. Huh. Glistering melon is used to make health potions. And also, if you find any apples that are... It's a rare drop from chopping down trees. You can uh, make golden apples, which will give you temporary health regeneration while it gives you some water back. Nice. But apples are, are pretty hard to get a hold of when you start chopping down trees. Okay. So usually, like, maybe after every ten or so trees, depending on the tree, maybe you get, like, one or two apples. Three if you're lucky. Hmm. No. Bad skeleton. Skeletons! Eat my trusted blade. I don't want to eat your blade. That sounds nasty. I don't know! I'm so confused. I'm sure you are, dear. <laughs> oh, music, why do you make games so much more fun? Killing in the house. Awesome. I am still working on the stairway. Yeah, but you can usually just wander these and you'll see minerals just sticking out on the walls. Wow, that's, that sounds like a useful tip. Well, I get, from where I'm at right now, I can see one patch of coal. The rest of it's really dark, and I'm right next to Lapis Azula. What's that? It's, I guess, it's just a show-off kind of mineral. It's used to make blue dyes, and you can also make blocks out of it, but that's it. Okay. But it's not great. But it's a very nice block to build with, but it takes a lot of lapis to see it. Alright. Now, my shins. Yo shins? My shins. Oh shins. Oh shins. Urchins! You like go swimming in the ocean? Yeah, I like to swims in the oceans. Ooh, redstone. We can start doing redstone circuitry with that. Circuitry, you say? Yes, redstone circuitry. Yeah, uh, it, it's uh, nothing personal here, but since it is night and I'm trapped in the house anyways, <laughs> uh, I am going to put something in the microwave so I can eat. That is that is fine by me. Uh, I will be so back. How do you craft the microwave? <laughs> So basically what you're saying is BRB. Yeah. 10,000 skeletons spawn in the house. <laughs> Don't jinx it. All of the bones would be nice. Must make more torches. Because more. Oh, a skeleton. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, excuse me. Mm hmm. Uh, not a problem. And also, a general rule of thumb when you're down this far do not dig straight down. Right. That just seemed. Well, I mean, I used to do it when I first played, and for the most part, it was fine until you get down to where I'm at, because then if you're not careful, or your luck is just pure shit, you'll end up falling down into a hole filled with lava. Ah. That sounds less than pleasant. Redstone. We only have four, so we can't do any big circuits. Circuitry, circuitry. But redstone can be used for... It's mostly used for building circuitry for making traps, lighting... Cool. Or machines with pistons. Pistons. Well, pistons are used for a magnitude of stuff. Like automation, I'm guessing. Yes, you can do automation. You can do uh, automatic watermelon harvesters. Interesting. Oh, it's pistons are, I guess, a wonder tool if you know how to do it. Unfortunately, I don't. Yeah. 
well, I'm learning from a friend, but it's more so... Like, if you play adventure maps, so most of the recent ones use giant, extravagant piston machines. Okay. Like, they'll have pistons make a bridge. Huh. Like, out of nowhere, there's this giant gap in the wall, and all of a sudden you see it's this bridge slowly growing out from both sides. Oh, jeez, that sounds cool. Okay, let's see here. We'll use this part as a landing. How many pickaxes do I have left? One. I still got another one if you need one. I may. Oh, hey, Cole. I see you. Hi, you. Enderman. Bad Enderman. Go away. Oh, there's Enderman around here? I heard him. He's probably behind a wall. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of coal around here, it looks like. Cole usually shows up in a pretty big vein. Say, so once you get down here, if you need it, I've got another pickaxe. Ow, god damn it. Okay, so, learning uh, learning curve here. Rule of thumb, do not stand directly under the block you're mining. That too. Though I, I've gotten about three flints so far. Oh god, Enderman. Why are you where I'm supposed to be digging? Do not look at you. Do not look, do not look, do not look. Oh, you're not supposed to look at them, okay. Well, if you don't look at them in the eyes, they're passive. They won't mess with you. But if you do look at them, they'll ki they'll eat your well, shit. If you look them in the eyes and they see you, they instantly go aggressive and they start beating on you. Ouch. <laughs> and he's like right where I need to dig. <laughs> that sounds terrible. They're a bitch to kill, but when it comes down to it, you have to start killing if you want to find a strong bird. I heard that. What'd you hear? You talking about me? Totally. You're a stronghold? Your mom's stronghold. Dang, that spider is persistent. <laughs> Wow, I heard one die just a second ago. Okay. Also, aren't, aren't creepers supposed to die when sunlight comes? No, I think they don't. And spiders do not die in sunlight. That's only skeletons and zombies. Okay, well, a creeper just kind of exploded our house. Oh, it did? Yes. Damn Was it inside? No, no, it was outside, and it exploded an exterior wall. How the hell did it do that? Can they sense you? Can they sense through walls? Well, if any mob gets attacked, oh, it retaliates. Oh well, yeah, they usually fight back. There's a creeper ahead of you somewhere, by the way. I see. Oh, you know, you know where I'm at, apparently. You know, like I'm seeing kind of, sort of, through some of the blocks on there because I'm dissing my texture pack hasn't read it. It's like the ones right ahead I'm looking at bottom ones. Oh, I see him over there. Yeah, I'm guessing my texture pack is weirding out, and I saw the creeper just right next to me. Okay, in the meanwhile, I'm covering up the exploded exterior wall. Well, if we want, we can always switch out the wood for stone. That's true. Okay, well, I'll do that then. Okay, that'll work. I'll make my way back. Pass it on. Because we can always just make the house bigger. That's probably not a bad idea. Uh, whenever I... Actually, I need to be breaking this out outside here, so... Oh, perfect timing. I have created... And staircase. I don't know what the heck this block is. I'm looking at. Okay. Is stone or something? Yeah, this is stone. My texture pack's weird now. Okay, guys, when you say replace it with stone, do you mean stone stone or cobblestone? Cobblestone. Because okay. if you want to make regular stone stone, you have to bake it with the smelter. And that can take a lot of resources. Okay, I really think we have enough stone up here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Goddamn, I'm going right back to get my shit. Make it there in time? Probably, I'm guessing. I don't know. Well, I should. I just finished the staircase. Okay. Well, is your stuff... Does your stuff these? Does your stuff will stay as?